Hi, welcome everyone. So we are in uh, another episode uh, about culture and living in different places uh, from the mentors in Asian Mentor Online. Um, so I welcome all of you to um, join us, um, Alex and I, uh, with Barry Hung, who's a esteemed mentor in our platform. Um, and uh, he has he comes with a great deal of experience and living in different places throughout his journey. So uh, we'll be hearing from uh, Barry today. So Barry, welcome and thank you so much for being with us um, uh, uh, in this in, in this uh, talk. Thank you for your invitation. Yeah, so uh, uh, as we were discussing just before starting the uh, recording that this session is all about uh, where we have uh, mm. lived and, and uh, spent our time in, in our, uh, while we work in different places and live, uh, lived in different places. So um, I, I have personally heard about your story before, but why not you give a quick introduction for our audience, um, mainly focusing your okay. uh, 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 where you have been oh so far, and then we'll get get from there. My, yeah. my hardship in other countries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, yeah, um, um, let's let's go by the time then. Uh, let's have a. Uh, 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 a general capture of everything. That, I, I was born in Hong Kong, uh, mm. educated there. I left Hong Kong around 16. I went to Canada, uh, US, uh, Los Angeles uh, for mm -hmm. high school. Then I went, I, I went to Japan for college. I went back to uh, Los Angeles also for higher education. And then go, went back to Hong Kong to work. I couldn't get a job uh, in US at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, I went back to Hong Kong, um, and then most of my work then were were in Hong Kong. But then, while I was an engineer, I actually spent a year working as an engineer in Japan. That was a very interesting experience for my, for me. And then, where else did I go? Uh, Japan. And then after that, uh, after I joined City Group. I actually travel a lot within China. And also after I joined the high-end retail, I also, um, because my responsibility is over AP. So I, I spend a bit mm -hmm. of traveling outside, uh, within Asia, outside China. But at that time, China was still the main key growth engine. So mm -hmm. a lot of effort still in China. Um, so basically that, that captures Almost and, and within China, I traveled to I don't know 20, 30, 40 cities, first year to 60 cities everywhere. <laughs> uh, so that's why I start off saying the hardship in living in other countries. Right. Hey, Barry, I have a question for you. Now, of the places that you uh, lived, and uh, well, unfortunately, you didn't uh, work in Los Angeles. And uh, I must say, you, you, you didn't miss much. <laughs> but, I, I uh, actually <laughs> work a bit as part time while I was okay, in school okay. in Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, now, it was... now you 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 have a you know good uh, uh, experience living in different uh, cities and learn about the culture. And how do you compare yourself uh, being in different cities, uh, living and work and, and working, and uh, you know dealing with different uh, work culture? How do you summarize uh, the way uh, that uh, American work as opposed to the Chinese uh, and the Hong Kong Chinese and the <laughs> Japanese? Okay, uh, this is a very good question. Um, uh, uh, let me answer this in, in, in two parts. In terms of working in a different culture, living in a different culture, country, uh, in general, language is the biggest barrier. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the work culture, uh, plus all the customs in that country. Um, oh, we'll talk about the work culture a bit more. And then, and then all the, and then all the surrounding thing that you need while you're there. For instance, the food, food, I mean, comfort food. I can't get my Hong Kong style milk tea <laughs> or yeah, instant I, noodle. <laughs> uh, I, I, I had enough instant noodle in Japan, so I don't eat ins instant noodle anymore. Um, and then, uh, and then medical. 
right? There, there might be some medicine, medicines that, uh, you know, while we were young, our parents keep feeding us. There are certain med medicines that we're used to. And when you move the, uh, to a different uh, city or a different uh, country, the entire medical system is different. It could be dramatically different. All right, so that medical is another uh, hurdle that, that I find very challenging. I find it very difficult to see a doctor. When I was in Japan, I don't see doctors because I cannot explain my symptom. <laughs> oh my God. And very, very difficult. That's bad and then news. another thing that, and then another thing that you might find surprising is haircut. Mm. I don't know how to explain <laughs> what my hairstyle <laughs> I want. All right. And that's why you know, I cut all my hairs now. <laughs> After 30, 40 years of, of frustration, now I do my own haircut. Wow. So you uh, shave your hair. You shave your hair. Yeah. I, 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 it took me like six months during wow. the COVID. During COVID, I don't even see anyone. Wow. So I learned how to cut my own hair by myself. Uh, uh, avoid. Hey, good job, man. So, good job. It yeah, is. It then, is. And then um, language, I talk about language. Oh, and also safety. All right. Uh, I, I, I watched the video. Uh, talking about uh, from from Peter and Alex talking about living in Los Angeles, you know it could be dangerous. Uh, right. You know certain things that we need to avoid. Uh, safety is is one big issue, right? Living in different countries, you you don't right. get a, you don't get the sense of where is safe. Uh, um, uh, those are the I, I would say big things, and 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 more focusing on working, working in a different country, the work the workplace culture. It's dramatically different. Uh, I used to work for, actually, I, I had an experience working for HSBC, which is hmm. quote unquote, it's actually not Hong Kong, but very UK, okay? Very UK company, very. So I, I work for Citigroup, US company. I work for Cartier, Xenia, European countries, uh, European companies, very, very different. Um, when I got into HSBC, they told me, if you want to get promoted, bring your little chair lined up. They said, oh, Rajiv, you have great knowledge. You have more <laughs> knowledge than me about your HSBC. Yeah, right? and so, for, for sure it's a great organization. But yeah, let's talk about HSBC when we have a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, so my understanding about, you know, uh, uh, UK companies is you lined up step by step. The hierarchy is very clear. US company, my experience, if you're good, next year you'll be on top of your boss. That's how it is. You know, when I was in Citigroup, uh, I think, yeah, how many years? But over over 10, 15 years, I can say this. I actually communicate I communicate mainly with my boss boss. I bypass my boss. So, so that's how U.S. company works. But then U.S. company is also very brutal. You yeah. know, uh, once once you get mm -hmm. your your bonus at the end of the year, you start from zero. <laughs> the next year, right? Your performance last year doesn't count yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's the U.S. company. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. absolutely right. European company, <clears throat> uh, very interesting too, because I Venia is a family-owned company. And Cartier is actually a corporate, mm. uh, a, a corporation. Um, very different uh, working culture. Um, uh, family, family owned businesses, which a lot in China is the mm. same. One person makes all the decisions. Wow, so, that's tiring. So you, have, so you have the mixture. You find a way to be friends with him, then you can survive <laughs> long time. Right. Okay. Right. Then cooperation is cooperation. European is a bit more easy, I would say. Very laid back. So my suggestion to anyone who works for a European company, yeah, you don't need to work that hard. <laughs> <laughs> just just make sure you 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 get a passing point, you can survive. Um, Understand. And then yeah. they're, they're also very, and then like like the off 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 office hour culture is also very important. You have mm. to recognize those very quickly because right. those are the time that you get to know your colleagues, your boss, 
or even your boss boss. Um, so I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to go into indiv individual right. culture, but, but that is a very, very important thing because that is where you get to get everyone relaxed and talk to each other besides work topic. Right. Hey, Barry. Uh, yeah, I just want to switch gears. Sorry, guys. I, I, I have this uh, question uh, in, in my mind uh, just before I, for, I for, forget. Now, uh, we're talking about, you know, uh, uh, about your, your working. Now, let's focus on your living. Now, you lived in different places before. I'm, I'm sure, you know, uh, uh, you, you may have a struggle a little bit here and there. Um, where, where, you know, which city that, that you like most? I mean, let's, let's put uh, Shanghai, uh, Los Angeles, uh, 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 Japan, or, or some other places on the table. You know, if you were going to choose one today, which one would you, would you go for? Mm -hmm. Oh, if I have to choose one today, yeah, probably Shanghai. Wow, you know, living cost, living cost is very affordable. Okay, the okay. quality of life, uh, you know, in general, the quality of life has substantially improved in the mm. past, I would say, five years. Wow, um, uh, uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, the ease of living. Okay. So, can you can you give us can you give us a couple of examples? Couple of examples. Yeah. Okay. Like, if I want to get sushi, I get sushi. Good okay. quality sushi. If I want to get milk tea, I get milk tea of Hong Kong. Right. If right. I want to get good burgers, U.S. burgers, no okay. problem. Okay. Right. Not McDonald's, huh? For okay. sure, not McDonald's. You mean gourmet like burger, burger, like Shake Shack? Gourmet stuff. Um, okay. And, and most of the big, uh, the so-called big brands uh, mm. are here in, uh, in, in, in China. Right. Um, so, so yeah, in terms of, as I said, the, the variety of things that I can get in China right now has substantially increased. And I have to say, particular to Shanghai, you probably right. cannot get that in Beijing or even Shenzhen. Uh, Shanghai, we have to, we have to give right. it to, to, to Shanghai. Shanghai is the, the, well, as Tokyo is political center for Japan, hmm. but commercial center for Japan is actually Osaka. Okay. Same yeah. as China. China, the political center is, uh, Beijing, but the commercial center is Shanghai. So the metropolitan, this international metropolitan city the government is promoting it a lot. So, hey Barry, for uh, you mentioned, yeah, Barry, you mentioned that uh, Shanghai, the living uh, quality has been improved over the past yeah. five years. Now, yes. I I lived in Shanghai. Uh, sorry, I lived in Beijing before. Uh, I must say, you know, uh, LA is not is not all that bad because you know we enjoy the space, right? But a lot of people don't understand, uh, you know, the the way that uh, you know that you live in China uh, is different. Uh, some you have to give up certain, you know, certain uh, level of, of, of comfortness, uh, but then you also gain, you know, uh, the uh, the convenience, right? Uh, and and also the way that they will live in 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 the, in Los Angeles, we live in a house, right? Yeah. But we yeah. Uh, in Shanghai, you live in a you know in a service apartment high or rise. Apartment, uh, uh, high high rise, yeah. right? So a lot of people audience may not understand you know the way that that you live uh, may not as big may not be as as big as a house in in Los Angeles, but then yeah, you sure. know. Um, yeah, so can you explain a little bit more, you know, how different they are and how um, how did you actually adjust yourself, right? Ah, all right, first, first of all, um, coming from Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a small place too. So Hong right. Kong, I'm, you know, I was born there, very used to the, the so-called apartment lifestyle. Right, right. So right. for that, you know, it's easier for me. Um, however, if I compare to my, my uh, my experience in Los Angeles, I actually spent a lot of time. I was actually living with my uh, my relative, so I spent a lot of time in a big nice house. Right. And swimming pool, tennis court, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. But, but, I don't want to do the work. They make me do the work. Yeah. Right? So, so I, I don't really long, like it. Right? <laughs> I don't really like it. Um, so, so it get, I, I guess, you know, to put it in a nutshell, let me put it this way. 10 years ago, my wife, 10, 12 years ago, my wife was all about migrating to US. All right. So she was pushing me to do it. And the way I persuade her not to is tell her that I can't afford Maine, okay, <laughs> too expensive over there. And if we live in a big house, a lot of cars. To be honest, I use that to kind of convince her not to. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so it depends on what kind of house you are after. If you're talking about th those huge mansions, um, of course, in, in Shanghai, you can get those. I well, used I'll to live you. in the field too. I tell you, Barry, you know, now I have to uh, mow my lawn, no, not mow my lawn, but, you know, uh, mop up the floor, dump the trash, you know, <laughs> clean the house. Yeah, um, so <laughs> you know? so I, I guess it really depends on your expectation. I, I realize in the U.S. there's also a trend of smaller house. Right, you know, right. Not, don't, don't push your financial burdens too high to get a yeah. huge house, uh, but right. get a smaller a smaller, warm house and right. uh, lessen your financial burden. I think that's a smart way to do it. So yeah, we, again, we, you know, I, we call that a detached condo. Yeah, so so I am biased, to be honest, because I was, you know, I was born in Hong Kong. I, I, I'm used to apartment. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I think okay. uh, Shanghai is, is, I am okay with apartments. And, and again, I said, Shanghai, loads of villas. If you want what about what about uh, let's talk about your family what about your family like raising children is that uh, uh, uh I, I understand that you have uh, you have a couple of sons right uh do they go to local son. school or, or one son do they uh, does he go to global school or international school yeah uh i put them through local um is, um i should say all right now the 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 schools here uh you can distinctively categorize into three local local semi-local and then the international so the semi-local is actually uh because some of the international school is actually uh, uh set up by local schools so the local school will have three branches the full international where you can only be admitted by foreign passports right the semi-local is something like in between where my son went uh, they are not international, but they put in a lot of international uh, cu cu curriculum. Um, less homework than the local, and then the local local. So I put my son at, in the middle uh, because okay. at that time, I, the aim is to send him overseas for high school anyway at that time. Okay, okay. So in terms of cost, very, very expensive for international. Mm -hmm. The pure international schools, very expensive. So if you're thinking of coming to China to work with the family, you have to calculate, you have to put the education cost in your formula. It's ridiculous. Okay, well then, uh, anyone in the audience uh, hear this, and uh, the reality of living and working in Shanghai, uh, there's gifts and takes, pros and cons. Uh, but then you have to do your math, right? Uh, not only for yourself, oh, if you have definitely. family. Yeah, if you have family, yeah. you have to uh, take your children into consideration. So I think that uh, you know it's really it's really good that uh, uh, Barry, you you share your uh, you know uh, your experience on Ground Zero. Uh, Alex and Rajib, I don't have any other questions. Nope, not at this point. I I, I have one. Uh, so uh, yeah. So if, see if Alex. Um, uh, but you do not have. I, I wanted to ask Alec um, to Barry that from uh, from our mentoring point of view, like like now that we are part of this um, platform, um, hmm. how do you think that your exposure to different places, right? How that informs your uh, you know uh, preparation as a coach for because our mentees will we are expecting to coming from different part of the world, mostly from Asia, but it can be other places. So. 
how do you think right. your exposure to other cultures informs you to get to be better prepared for mentoring in this platform and how how that helps uh, uh, i certainly hope that our our clients you know call us up early when they mm. are at the starting point of thinking yeah. of going starting a career elsewhere um because a lot of preparation work has to be done uh, if you just you know uh hot-headed oh i go to shanghai tomorrow oh that, i think i think it's gonna be it's gonna be a disaster it's gonna be a disaster uh particularly if you're looking for a career in in, in china overnight uh, that's impossible um so i think I, I certainly hope that you know when when our clients who has this idea of starting a career starting a new businesses uh somewhere else uh they come to us early uh, because as i said earlier that there's uh, many many factors that we we need to consider and and we need to make sure that we have done a, a bit you know, done enough preparation work before we move, make a move and as i said earlier if the move is only yourself is much much easier than talking about than moving a whole entire the entire family because there's you know kids wife uh, there's a lot of people involved absolutely absolutely and and uh, that's where we come in as a mentor right that's why we are available in this platform so that our clients can yeah, get that support yeah. how to how to prepare uh for a migration like yeah. that so, so yeah. yeah thank yeah. you thank yeah. you for sharing so i think uh, yeah peter alex do you want to uh, close or yeah, I I think that's uh, thank you, Barry, for your time and um, and I'm You're sure, welcome. yeah, and I'm sure the uh, the audience would uh, you know really appreciate your uh, sharing, especially you know it's not easy to share personal information or personal life. Uh, I on behalf of the audience, I, I truly appreciate, and truly thank you for your time, and uh, uh, please uh, anyone in the audience uh, you know love our content. Uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up and uh, share our channel and content with your friends and families. And until then, uh, uh, yeah, let's see each other again next time. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye.